Welcome back. In this video, I'll we'll talk about the symptoms, the ECG changes associated with myocardial infarction, and the treatment options. Myocardial infarction is the result of myocardial ischemia, which is seizing the blood flow to the heart. We know that the heart pushes blood around the body, but it also has some small vessels called the coronary vessels that supply the heart muscles themselves. Sometimes these small vessels can be obstructed either temporarily or permanently, and this causes myocardial ischemia and eventually causes the death of the myocardial muscle. The death of myocardial muscle is known as myocardial infarction. Whenever you see an ECG, look at the ST interval, as this is the most important part. You can see an either ST elevation or an ST depression, both of which are worrying signs. Also look at the T wave, you might see a flattening of the T wave or flat out inversion of the T wave. And sometimes you might see U wave inversion, although it's not very common. Like we said, the cause is obstruction of the blood flow to the heart, and the most common cause is atherosclerosis, which is the slow gradual buildup of cholesterol plaques within the coronary vessels. The heart muscle, for some reason, are one of the first vessels to be affected by atherosclerosis. So if you see atherosclerosis in the abdomen or in the legs or in the hands, just look at the heart because this is probably the first sign or the first place to be affected. So the fact that it's been affected somewhere else, the heart is most likely already affected. Myocardial infarction symptoms are very telling. The heart is well innervated and the pain can be very sharp. The patient will indicate the pain, the pain behind the sternum, and this can radiate to the left shoulder, or left jaw, or left neck. The pain will be very severe, and the patient might have sweating. They will be nauseated. They will complain of palpitation and fast heart rate. And of course, feeling and wellness. To treat this condition, we have to allow the normal flow of blood into the heart muscles. And this can be done by other angioplasty, where we insert a small balloon into the affected area and we inflate the balloon, or by mesh angioplasty, where we insert a small mesh into the affected area and this forces it to be open. And this comes with its own complications of sometimes the mesh being closed or clotted. And we can do bypass surgery where we bypass the affected area altogether. So, so most of the solutions are actually surgical options. Our ECG course contains all the changes that can occur in an ECG, and it helps you become an ECG expert, so that you can recognize any ECG that you might come across. The course contains everything that might affect an ECG, all the symptoms, the causes, and of course the treatments. It also has plenty of quizzes to test your knowledge and make sure that you cement these informations and be able to answer any question about an ECG. You can access the course using the link in the description or in the pinned comment.